Around 2010, I was at my grandmother's house. It's an old single white trailer in the woods that belonged to my great-grandmother before, so it's around 40 years old. It got some room added toward the back of it with a curtain separating the room from the original trailer. In one of the rooms in the back, the windows are covered with a sort of clear plastic and then blind over that. The wall that the windows are on is covered in old raggedy and dolls since Grandma is an avid collector of old dolls. In the room is a bed that sits opposite to the windows, which is towards the further side of the trailer, and outside of the window is a pretty large clearing before the woods start. That night, I was laying in the bed facing the window while everyone else was in the living room, which is the next room over. The blind on the window was open this night, and as I looked out, I saw a tall figure walk up to the window outside. As it was walking up, it seemed to have been looking around, scanning the area as it walked until it noticed the window, and that's when it walked up to the window. The figure had a ghoulish white face with a very defined cheekbones with skin that looked pretty smooth, almost like a poor clean doll. It was wearing very dark black glasses and was bald. It had a type of bowler hat. Something like you see some old timey person wearing and a black suit on with what looked like a bow tie. It was holding its hand up in a sort of propped up position with fingers interlocked in its hand across its upper torso and was also wearing a gold watch. Its body was pretty skinny, enough to be noticeable since the suit it was wearing was pretty loose. When I saw it, it I felt really creeped out since that trailer had the history of paranormal things happening. A lot of them have been experienced by me while I was growing up, so I was sort of used to it, but still never saw anything like this. Kind of just sat there and stared at me for a few minutes till I finally got the courage to get out of the room and go tell my grandparents that someone was outside the trailer at the window. Grandpa got his gun and went outside where the window was to see if anyone was out there, and he didn't see anything. After that, he came back inside, locked all the doors, and I ended up staying in the living room with them until we went to bed, and I haven't seen it since. One thing to note, around that time, I have been getting into doing a lot of research into paranormal things, and I've been obsessed with conspiracy theories, so maybe that might have something to do with it and why it might have showed up. Also, the many paranormal experiences I've had in the trailer growing up, more details on those stories and later posts. Hi there, I'm not new to Reddit, but I only just stumbled upon this paranormal encounter subreddit. I thought I'd ask a few questions, get some brain taken away, and perhaps even gain some help or knowledge along the way. Backstory, you will most surely need it, I think. I'm 45, born in New Zealand in 76, the youngest of two. My brother, my older brother, is five years my senior. From as far back as I can remember, even when I was a toddler, I've seen things that I can not simply explain. Things moving on our own, apparition, ghostly figure, the extremely realistic full-person apparition, hearing sounds of crying, laughter, and growling. This hasn't been on a daily basis, but it's always been in my life over the years. Whenever I've lived, I now live in Australia. The ghostly people have just started appearing again, after not having them for almost nine years. I must mention this, even if it does pain me to bring it to your attention, I was severely abused from... Age 3 to I turned 11 on an almost nightly basis by numerous people, my father included, whom was part of an apparent reign. I have often thought that the horrific thing done to me could have somehow manifested these spirits, etc. in my life, and I have even attempted suicide in my younger years trying to get rid of it all. I do have much pain, sadness, and darkness in my life and have somehow often just embraced that as that's the way it is kind of deal. It hurts, though, and it's bloody scary. I want to know what everyone thinks. Could it be related, or are these just random spirits? Am I somehow special because I attracted them, or is it just a coincidence? Thank you, people, for listening, and please be kind. This happened in April of 1971. I was born in 1986, so this is not a first-hand account. Everyone in the story, however, is a family member, some closer than others, and has confirmed it supposedly actually happened. I apologize for this is being posted in the wrong area. I'm somewhat new to Reddit, and every other paranormal thing seemed to restrict it to first-hand accounts only. My family at the time lived in Charlotte, Tennessee area, and were traveling Highway 49 to visit someone in Ashland City. A roughly half-hour drive, not sure the exact time of day, but it was daylight outside. In the car were six people. The front seat was my mother, her husband... And my second older sister in the back seat with my aunt, her husband, and my older sister. About a third of the way down the highway, everyone in the car suddenly couldn't see. 
The vision was just like a bright white light. There had been no other colors near them on the road. There was no other noise that went along with it, just the light. It was not just that it was a bright light. The vision was just the white and nothing else. My sister was caught putting her hand in front of her face and not being able to see it. Everyone could still hear the engine of the car running and feel the car moving. When my mother said she reached out to hold my sister in the front seat, while my aunt said she placed her hand on my sister in the back seat. Oddly, no one felt the need to scream. They all basically sat in silence. After a few minutes, the light went away for everyone at the same time. They were still on the road. The car was moving. When my mother claimed it was in the same spot as when the light started. They never heard her husband put on the brake, and he claimed he never tried to stop, that he was so scared he just kept driving. My family claimed many other similar events happened to them while living in Charlotte, though this one is my favorite just because it, to me, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing that can be explained by someone thinking they saw or heard something they didn't.